There's a little town called Little Valley. There's a little town called Little Valley. And that town is filled with scandal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Acme Theater's presentation of the improvised soap opera Scandal. You might be wondering what's going to happen tonight, but don't ask us. We have no idea. Now, let's meet our cast of scandalous characters. It seems that all her friends are deserting her because of boys. Not because she's a nerd with a pear-shaped body and a unibrow. She's... Persephone Papadopoulos! <laughs> Persephone's best friend is more nerdy than she is, but she seems to be doing better socially in an ironic twist. She's a mathlete, and her name is... Marcy Muldoon. Marcy's father doesn't understand her. He knows more about laps and climbing a rope in a gymnasium than math. Because he's a P.E. teacher. A P.E. teacher named... Danny Muldoon! Danny recently slept with this strange and enigmatic married woman from a land known as Iceland. And her name is... Noof is married to this guy. He's an evil mine owner with an evil plan and an evil sounding voice wearing an evil black suit. You can boo him. And you can also call him Silas Rothschild. Silas's right hand man is a sociopathic mine foreman who likes the smell, taste, and feel, and sound of blood. He is Max the Axe Diesel. Max is close. He's close friends with Silas's daughter, who happens to actually be a good person. I guess the apple sometimes falls far from the tree. She is Ava is dating the coolest and douchiest guy in school. He's the head of the football team, and on his jersey it says... Jazz Angle, fuck you! Jazz has the uncomfortable privilege of having, as a principal, his own mom. A very strict principal. And she is... Someone recently planted cocaine in Victoria's purse. She doesn't know it, but it's actually her sister. That's right, her, her sister who likes to jet set and has recently returned to town and is named... Cece Angle. <laughs> and of course, there's more than just these nine people in town. Nine or ten, there's everybody else. And everybody else is played by... This man with a beard. Now, sit back, relax, try to relax as you watch tonight's exciting episode of Scandal! Chaz Angle. He has just picked up his mom from prison after she was released on bail. This should be an interesting conversation. Light her on the right foot. 
out, will you, Jazz? I want to get home safely, please. <laughs> <laughs> Find something funny? You always said it'd be me in there first. Laugh it up, choke oh, it up. I'm enjoying it. I'm sure you will. I'm savoring it. Please, I am humiliated, Jazz, please. Oh, sorry. I had to fart. <laughs> <laughs> I just bailed you out of jail. I know, and I'm very grateful for that. Very grateful. You owe me now. I owe you nothing. What? It's what? one for one. You had your one, now I get my one. Don't watch it's the road. I'm watching it. <laughs> Will you watch out for the dog over there? Oh, I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at the palatial estate of Silas, we see his wife, Noof. She's acting like an Icelandic wife. Yes, Noof, that's right. When she runs into Ava, who hasn't seen her since she slept with Max.
It's an evil island. And where is Silas? Why, he's at a fancy hotel room with CC, and they've just done other naughty things together. Max and another nameless henchman who works for Silas have dragged him into the mine to figure out a way to dispose of him or trap him. Probably in some sort of way that doesn't kill him right away. I don't know. We'll see. I, uh, I want to 
to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm uh, clear. All right. So well, I tell you what, why don't you leave and I'll do it. <laughs> I like the way you think. I'm sure that plan will work perfectly. Meanwhile, Marcy is looking for her dad near the locker rooms where her dad works when Persephone runs into her. to CC and Silas as Max arrives with a full report. Don't look at me, I'm naked. 
<laughs> Sexy, isn't it? Uh, I yeah. don't feel like covering up right now, don't. so deal with it. Don't you dare cover up. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we have to talk business. Talk. <laughs> I, uh, I got rid of the B-O-D-Y. I can also spell that. <laughs> uh, I got rid of the big guy. All right, and you're sure he's dead? Oh, yes, sir. I took care of it myself. And uh, by taking care of it yourself, I assume you gave it to somebody else to do. Damn straight. I knew it! S oh, sir! Um, <laughs> it's because uh, the rocks uh, took care of him, too. So there's no witnesses. Why must every murder I ask you to commit become a game of mousetrap? <laughs> Why can't you simply walk up to a man, look him in the eye, and stab him in the heart? I, uh, I get nervous, sir. That's the problem. Look at me. You have to be able to look at a man in the eye when you take his life. You can't leave it up to underlings. I <laughs> 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 I'm gonna try harder, Silas. Uh, I, uh, the body's gone and, uh... The body's gone because it walked away or because it's dead and decayed? Decayed. <laughs> decayed. Decayed. Because it's decayed, sir. How could it be decayed? It's only been a day. <laughs> these questions are getting too big. They're small. Maggots are small, like these questions. They can't eat through a body in a day, which leads me to believe you're lying to me. You don't no, know sir. Dead or not. No, sir. The minerals. The minerals down there will decay a body in five seconds or less. Silas. Yes, my naked beauty. <laughs> He's worthless, this man. He's completely worthless. He's not completely worthless. He's the best miner there is. You know, I have a little bit of experience with uh, dead bodies and burying them. You've heard of Stavros Mykonos? Yes, it. Famous Greek industrialist who used to make potato salad out of napkins. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of him. Among other things, he made a fortune, and I made a good living working for him off the island of Crete. Well, let's just see if you You're can not make... peeking, are you? Uh, I am naked in front of you. No. You know what? I think he's earned a reward. I'm going to have sex with her and let you watch. <laughs> but... Oh. I want you to make sure that Not that yet. coach is dead. And if he isn't, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. He'll be dead, sir. I'll make sure of it. You make sure of it. Yes, sir. You make sure of it. Because I want to make sure if I'm doing sex right. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We now return to the mine where Danny is lying, near a pile of rocks, beneath which is a crushed henchman. Eva is wandering in the mines and finds him. how that turns out a little later. Meanwhile, Victoria is in her office when she gets a visit from a member of the school board who's very displeased about the pound of cocaine that was found in her purse.
Principal Victoria, you have a lot of explaining to do. I know, and then the pool is covered with some bubbles, the captain has no more phone, I just don't know what to do anymore. It's a mess, I know. Can you explain why you were arrested yesterday? Oh, well, minor details. Minor details? You are responsible for 500 children! I, I understand that. You have to, you see, this is my profession. I, I take it very seriously. I don't know how that bag of cocaine ended up in my purse. Was your profession. Excuse me? You're fired. You, you can't fire me. Nobody's good as me. I am the head of the school board. I'll do whatever I goddamn well please. Oh, so am I. I'll do whatever it takes. Please, this is my job, this is my life, this is my love. Well, you're gonna have to watch your love die. Because you're no longer employed here. Well, who else is gonna do this? You don't think that there are plenty of people in Little Valley who would be the principal of a high school? Come on! I could do it! I work a full-time job and I can do this on the side! Ah, ah shit! I have a, 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 a son who just graduated from college who could do this job. Or, or, I could call the guy down at the taco shack. The taco shack. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you have to give me the opportunity to prove to you. Prove to me? I, prove to me you had a pound of cocaine in the school! It was planted, don't you see? Planted. Somebody's trying to blackmail me! Who would blackmail you? Who would want to blackmail a principal of a high school? Uh, what kind of wild, wild stories could you possibly have? My sister, for one, who's trying to take the money that does not deserve. She, she wants the inheritance that my father left when he died, and for some reason she thinks she it. Sounds like something you should tell your counselor. Pack your stuff, you're gone. <sighs> oh. Scandalous. Chaz is hanging out with Marcy. Persephone tries to wander up. with my math homework. Yes, I did. There you go. Okay. Uh, um, well, let's start with the first equation. Um, there you've got... Uh, go ahead and read that, your, read that out. Um. How about you, Do it for me. How about that? That's outstanding. <laughs> 3x times 2 divided by 2. Sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, God. I, you just, you were doing that math equation all wrong. It, it, the variable is x, not y in this equation. I didn't want to say anything, but, oh, yeah. Well, She's not really the best tutor, is she? Oh. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You're allowed to make mistakes. Mistakes aren't wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> When they come to math finals, they are. Well, I'm not studying to be a mathematician. But aren't you studying to pass? Well, how come every time I see you and Marcy together, you're always putting her down? Kind of being a bitch. Hey, or... hey, Chaz. Hey, over uh, here. Yeah. This, um, this is a lie. And, um, uh, <laughs> come over here. I just keep doing it. No, no. You're doing well. Well, as long as there's three of them. Oh, God, I. 
I'm so excited. That sounds awesome. The three of us going to a movie? Mm -hmm. I'll buy the popcorn. Tell her no. Why? Why? Well, she's not about popcorn. You don't want to be alone with me? That's so weird. Well, oh, it's never happened before. <laughs> oh, I'm so distraught. What am I going to do? buried under rubble. Mostly Ava. enjoying the fine yes it's noof enjoying the fine areas of the mine she's probably naked that's how they do it in Iceland when Max finds her he's looking for Danny but he runs into her
the lover side us will kill us if we are loved. I don't care. I love you, Noof. And I wanted to kill the, the big, big Yeti guy. And he's gone. He's, he's not dead or he's dead? He's not dead. Oh, this is good. For you or what out for me? You know, if I had my head screwed on right, I might think to kill you too. What? Yeah. Why? You say you love me. What? But you said I was your ex-lover, right? What? And that he's your new lover. Ah! Ow, oh, that hurt. <laughs> Do this, but I have to show the town that I Max the Axe. You think that Cyrus is going to like you for killing me? I don't care anymore. He's gonna kill you, no! I don't care. And where is Silas? Why, he's meeting with the head of the student board. He's interviewing for the job of principal. You have an extensive resume. That I do. And uh, why is it a, a man of your stature, uh, Mr. Rothschild, would want to be the principal of a little high school like this? I want to give back to the community. <laughs> I'm not proud to say this, but I've killed a lot of prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> Those girls that had a decent school system. But I can lie today. Mr. Rothschild, you and I have the same ilk. <laughs> you too enjoy. Sins of the flesh. <laughs> I can't tell you the number of prostitutes that have actually died on my watch. <laughs> Always the educators you have to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I can't see any reason why you wouldn't be a fine principal. <laughs> so I just have to ask, what is your vision for Little Valley High School? And the job is yours. My vision for Little Valley High School is a place where boys and girls can come to play and dance. <laughs> It's a place where the books flow like water. <laughs> it's a place where knowledge is a fountain that hits them in the face and knocks them down. Yes! <laughs> it injures a few of them. But they're not worthy of the knowledge. Weak! They are weak. Yes. And they will be drained out into the septic system. <laughs> but more importantly, it is a place where we can all join together and say, Thank God our kids are there! Instead of having sex with you or me. <laughs> By God, Mr. Rothschild, you're hired. God bless you. The weirdest job interview I've ever seen. Meanwhile, Victoria has returned home where she finds her sister CC waiting for her. To gloat, we'll see. Somebody wants to steal your identity, then it makes it very easy. 
Now you want my identity? Well, I just want your stuff. Your credit. <laughs> everything you've got. Darling, I'm broke. I'm in debt. The inheritance money that you want is gone. There's nothing left, my dear. Surprise. You used my inheritance money to get yourself out of the clink? Darling, it was no. not your money. No, 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 no. This is not how this was supposed to happen. Well? No, I was not. I was not supposed to suffer from this, Victoria. <laughs> oh, poor little girl. Got you a rich now you get to rags. No, no, you don't. Welcome, darling, to my world. There's nothing you left. You don't understand. You don't understand. I need this money. I have got to get out of here. I have to keep moving. There's the door, my dear. Turn the knob and help yourself I out. can't go anywhere without money, Victoria. You've taken everything from me. Get a job, CC. That's what we real people do. Some of us use our bodies as work. You know what? I'll tell you something. You are going to pay. You are so going to pay. You have taken everything from me. <laughs> <laughs> pay with what, my dear? Huh? I'm broke. I got no money, no pockets, nothing. There's nothing to give you. Do you understand that? You're still alive. You're still alive, Victoria. And you know what? I will not rest until you are six feet under. Seven feet. <laughs> Persephone is sitting on a bench far away from the movie theater, observing from a distance as Marcy and Chaz hang out. She can hear them talking. lost in the mine and Ava might not be doing well Persephone, Marcy, and Chaz find out 
next week or the next time we have another exciting episode of Scandal.